Are you guys enjoying the last act of the Halloween event? Probably not, if I had to guess. Mainly because of the event's difficulty, especially on the last wave. I'm I'm going to make like a separate video about the Act 3 and of overall event later on, but I wanted to make this quick video because there have been some patch notes. And there have been some changes to the last wave, which sound kinda good on the paper. Because, first off, nerfed wave loop and enemy spawn timing in wave 14, meaning that less enemies spawn on wave 14, which is good. Also, the increased battery drop count in Act 3, which is also good. But I did one thing that completely broke everything. Nerfed Spotlight from 25,000 damage to 10,000 damage. Now, you don't have to be a genius to figure out that 25,000 damage and 10,000 damage is a big difference. Most likely made this event impossible. Because before, this event was possible without any glitches. The problem with this was that you needed Sledger. Sledger was needed. Without Sledger, you would not win. The last wave, pretty much the last wave consist consisted of spamming Sledger, like delaying the round so no enemy gets into, gets into the base, and just killing the hands right away, which was the general strategy. Now, with the spotlight being nerfed by almost three times the damage, that's no longer possible. Yes, you can still start the rounds, but you need to survive like three times longer now because the damage is so low. Like, you cannot do the same strategy anymore. You basically have no option. And those enemies aren't like easy either. You have like, w whenever you go play the game, like the last wave, they're like enemies with 6000 HP each coming from like all the sides. They have like, there's like 10 of them. The bosses just keep standing the towers. There's no way to kill those enemies. So you have to stall them which was what was Sledger used for. Sledger, Electroshocker, those were the towers, but mainly Sledger. Without Sledger, you this tower... Without Sledger, this event is impossible. As I said, you had to stall the rounds. But now, even if you stall the rounds, you cannot win. Because there's just no way. Eventually, you will get unlucky, your towers will get stunned, even if you get Medic, because you don't have infinite money, you, will, you won't have, like... You, you won't be able to, like sell and rebuy the medic, you will eventually get overwhelmed by the enemies, even with Sledger. So, despite this being a nerf to the Act 3 on paper, it's actually a big buff. Because the old strategy... because you, you will just die at this point, there's no way to counter it. There's actually no way. So yeah, I have no idea how this changed, like, how this change even happened. Like. Yes, the wave loop and enemy spawn time was needed, the nerf was needed. It's still not enough in my opinion, the, the enemy HP is still super big. Now, this event is even harder now. You guys know how you've been complaining about this event being too hard? Well, the devs just made it harder. So, good luck, have fun, and just wait for this to get nerfed. I don't bother with it. You will probably not win. If you have Sledger, Maybe, if you get lucky, if you have that Sledger, yes, if you don't have Sledger in your team, just don't even bother. So yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya, as I said, I will have a video on the entire Act 3 later, I just wanted to address the difficulty. See ya.